Spears burst onto the scene with her hit song Baby One More Time and others in 1998 no one could have predicted the way that she changed the music landscape forever or the way that she would redefine the concept of tabloid scandal for instance Throughout her personal and professional ups and downs, she's remained one of the most influential entertainers in the world. We are today doing a live show, a short one, but paying a tribute to the pop, Princess Britney Spears. My name is Sylvia Dos Santos. I'll be your host for today. As you are listening to my podcast, Art in Heart. Cue the music. famous before she was even famous <laughs> as if you understand that Britney Spears was in the spotlight long before baby one more time that will play in the end of this podcast but that song put her in the top of the billboard charts as many people know she first appeared on the Mickey Mouse Club with future stars with like Justin Timberlake, Christina Aguilera, Ryan Gosling, all the way back into 1992. And her time on the show made her grow up really fast. So she's been in the news quite often lately because of a conservatorship. I'm Portuguese, so bear with me. Conservatorship? Yeah. Uh, I will explain what this conservatorship means. For those who don't understand, I didn't understand. Uh, so I went looking for it, and it is a court proceeding at which a probate judge appoints a person to assume legal responsibility over someone. Usually it's a close relative. And in um, Britney Spears' case, it was her dad. Later on, when she went to court against the conservatorship, her lawyer took the, the place, but the conservatorship ended finally, and we will talk about that. And if you want to call on the show, you can call on the show. I'm watching you guys entering the live chat, the written live chat. You can call on the phone, it's for free. 
but I know you are a bit shy. But I see you guys talking about Brittany on the written chat. So welcome. Join the conversation. So we are listening to one of the songs from the album, the the recent, I don't want to say the last album, the fans uh, want more albums. I would like to know what she is capable of doing now that she's free of all these messed up things that she's been involved to on uh, with uh, the conservatorship with her dad and um, maybe a, a following relationship with her mom and sister I, I'm not quite sure whether the news are correct or not but I've been reading some of the posts and I mean really reading what she writes Britney, of course, I'm talking about Britney, on Instagram, and I believe um, that she's really growing up, She she's turning herself into a, a fine young woman, a mother that loves her children and deserves to see them every time, and love them, and be loved by them. And she's expecting a child. We'll talk about that in just a while. I'm Austin Lugo. I'm Andrew Harp. This is With Nothing to Say. And let's talk about movies. With over 3,000 films log, Andrew and I, best friends since middle school, have dedicated our lives to watching, making, and talking about movies. Each week, Andrew and I handpick a movie he's seen, I've seen, or neither of us have seen, and dive deep into anything and everything two wannabe cinephils could ever think of. From horror to dramedy, we do it all. So join us as we talk about everything movies, and maybe you too can become a bona fide cinephile. <laughs> Britney Spears. It's... You recognize the talent she has. It's unmistakable. Baby, can't you see? Spears' fiancé or husband because she referred to him as her husband Sam Asghari he's from Iran or Iran <laughs> I've heard it the, the, the two ways Iran or Iran and they have been together since they met on the set of her video clip in 2016 Slumber Party I ain't got that song for you today. I don't have it, but I, ha I have many others from the Glory album and other albums from the beginning of her career. And as you know, Port Bean only allows us to be on live streaming for a, a while. So, and I'm watching you. I'm watching you all getting in. I just started the show and I want you to call on the show. It's for free. And whatever questions you have, like who wrote the toxic track, right? Linga, I'm watching you. Hi there. And where are you from, Linga? Yes, I will check up on that um, for you. 
and I'm reading you. I will put the song louder, but I'm reading what you're writing and I'm searching for your answer. So, let's see, Linga, D did you say, yeah, Australia, you are from Australia, yay, hi there, Australia, I'm from Portugal, yeah, Portugal, <laughs> Western Europe, no, it's, yeah, not Brazil, no, Brazil, it's a bit um, sugary Portuguese, yeah, you were close. So, we are listening to another song, but I will tell you about Toxic. So, Linga is writing us on the show, and if you want to call Linga, you can call. I will pick up your call, it's for free. And we can discuss all the things you like about Britney, and I will discuss them too, because I love Britney. And who doesn't, right? Who doesn't know Britney Spears? And Who was rooting for her to be free from that old conservatorship from her dad, right? Oh, yeah, I understand. I understand, Linga. Doesn't matter. I will answer you your question anyway, okay? And, you know, so, toxic is um, yeah here it doesn't say much about but it was produ produced by Bloodshy and Avant it's released um, in January 13th a Turkish dude yeah I'm, I'm trying to find that and it, it quite looks like a, it was like a, um, a mystery because it doesn't say here like the other songs you know online you search for a song and it says everything about the song and first things that appears on google it is um where it was produced and the awards that won the song and who sings it But I'll try better if you wait just a sec. So this song you're listening, um, it is from the, the album Glory. I just put a blender like with a mix of a few songs of Britney and I've got here a few curiosities. But as I was saying, and I'm searching for that, Turkish guy that wrote the song. Um, so Toxic is a dance pop song with electro bangra, like Bollywood, and uh, hmm, the Matrix from the movie. Yeah, spin. I'm reading, uh, but it doesn't say exactly like in the spot who wrote it. It's just, it's quite um, strange because it doesn't say who wrote. And it is quite strange that because we always find the, the composer and I will try to um, find the lyrics and normally when you find the lyrics, it says who wrote, but it's not easy. That is a good question, and I'm gonna find out. Can guarantee you that. Because I'm curious right now about that. You made me curious, Linga. <laughs> she really was a goddess, yeah. Linga is saying she really was a goddess back in the day. And she will return. I think she will return. Don't you think, Linga? Because. So you are listening to Gimme Gimme, of course. And uh, you know, she 
is a bit um, different from um, the girls nowadays, you know, uh, Ariana Grande and everything. And I miss that genuinity, like that. You know, she was so honest with her songs and uh, I, I, I didn't know she was suffering from so many heartbreak in her life with her family and, you know, eventually people will um, see you as a, like a golden chicken with, a, you know, the gold eggs that you made money and they chase you. Even, the, the, even if they are your family, you know? And I think she, finally, she is free from all that. So the composers, Linga, I found that, that it is Dennis, Kathy, and it is from the Bloodshy Avant, like I said, produced by Bloodshy Avant, and it only says that. It's uh, Merlin Songs at Brick Island Music Publishing. It doesn't really say the name. Is Dennis Cathy? Is not a Turkish name, is it? I, I don't think so. Do you agree with me? Yeah. Yeah, Linga. I completely agree with you. From a child star to later on, I don't love her music, but I respect, respect her struggle. So, this is me quoting Linga, who's on the written chat on this show. And I'm quoting, I'm reading what Linga said, and I love um, a few songs to, you know, to dance and uh, like Toxic and um, Slay For You and, you know, she, you, you must admit that she entertained us. Like these, these kids nowadays, like the, the Biebers, no offense for the fans <laughs> of the Bieber, Justin Bieber and, uh, you know, the whole crew of nowadays singers but I think Britney had something special that made us see her shows even if we really love yeah I'm seeing what you are writing uh, so even if we we love uh, Freddie Mercury, Michael Jackson you know but she is the princess of pop. We can acknowledge that. Um, and, and you said something about her struggle. I think that is why I'm, I, I'm doing the live show today about her. I was reading her um, words on Instagram. And I feel like she, she has grown up. And yeah, I'm seeing that you found um, Kathy Dennis. Yeah, reveals he didn't write. Okay, so he didn't write. It's a mystery. You have uh, um, made a um, question that made me curious and I would like to know who wrote. For real, toxic because it is quite interesting that online you can't find it, the information. It's quite a mystery. And it was one of my favorites to dance, you know? To listen when you, you're at gym uh, doing, you know, your workout and Toxic is quite cool. Or you're driving around city and yeah. I believe so, yeah. Linga is saying she did write it. Yeah, she might have wrote it. Wrote, wrote it. She wrote it or she had, might have written it. Yeah, the English. <laughs> the grammar. And, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She just never intended it for her, the song? Or to write that song and to perform it? Because I think the song Toxic really suits her. 
It was meant for someone else, yeah. Online, I found something about that. And um, I'm going here to know a few things. If you want to know, and all the others, you know, here, some people listen in private, others listen in public. This episode will be available for all the listeners around the world. And thank God, all the episodes um, have tremendous success. And I thank you all for that. Um, so let's carry on with some facts of, um, you know, I'm seeing here some things about Ryan Gosling, but let's see what happened here in 2011 when Britney Spears came under fire. In 2011, for the music for her song Criminal, uh, which featured her and her boyfriend at the time, Jason Trawick, on the streets of London. You know, she can't get a break, this girl. Yeah, thank you for coming. <laughs> so, um, I'm talking to the people getting in the chat uh, via written chat, but you can call on the show if you want to. So, let's carry on. So, British politicians took I'm right with the fact that they carried guns in the area and but Britney Spears team responded by saying that the song had been written long before the riots ever happened so and you know when she shaved her head the hairdresser who owned the salon um, you know where Britney Spears infamously shaved her head in 2007 actually gather up the pop princess locks uh, the hair the red bull can shape she even the bottle or you know the can of red bull she drank from and the cigarette butts and she had put in the ashtray the stylist then placed all of the objects on ebay for one million although ebay took the listing down because it was against their policy. Whoa, you know? Well, you know, eBay has, you know, principles. Would have guessed. <laughs> I'm joking here. But, you know, her relationship, Brittany's uh, relationship with her parents wasn't always contentious. Growing up in Kentwood, Louisiana with parents Jamie and Lynn they always supported her and when on her youngest dreams and she had big ones big dreams Spears um, was ultra ambitious and her parents carted her around the dance gymnastics voice lessons as well as talent shows So it wasn't all bad, but you know, stuff happens. Life happens, life gets in the way. And she had to struggle to become a star. Uh, the, this intense drive led her to take a chance and try it for the reboot of Mikey, Mickey Mouse, sorry, Mickey Mouse Club when she was just eight years old with devastating results. But you know, her and her mother uh, drove all the way to Atlanta for the audition. She was rejected and told she was too young. However, there was a silver lining. The casting director recognized Spears' talent and hooked her up with a talent agent. And it all began from there. And her parents helped her in the beginning. And you know, like, Like all famous people, uh, when family gets in the way, they see you making a lot of money, they think they know what's best for you. So, a lot of celebrities I found out, even Joni Mitchell, 
Who would have thought that? Johnny Mi- Joni Mitchell. I love Joni Mitchell. That is my type of singer. Um, but, you know, respect for Britney. That is not the type of song that I sing yeah, on my other podcast, the other radio. I sing more like Joni Mitchell, Lauryn Hill, you know. But I, I, I had to do this show to pay a tribute to this girl that she has some tough times lately. And it, it was like 13 years she would, she couldn't control her money in her life. And okay, um, I, I think in the beginning it was for her best, but after a while, come on, she's a grown up, she's a, a fine young woman, she has kids, uh, she loves her kids. It's, you can see that, it's clear. Um, I hope that this time around, uh, once that um, conservatorship from a dad is free, she is free from that, uh, the court decided on that, and she's uh, with Sam Ashkari. I think they got married already, because she refers to him as her husband already. And as I told you before, they met each other on the Slumber Party video clip in 2016. He's quite a sexy dude. Uh, oh yeah, but she is also. She's really sexy. He's a personal trainer. She has a background in gymnasts. So I gather they are really flexible <laughs> when dancing and you know. Um, But I'm loving reading her posts lately. And I think that she's really there. She, she, she got to the point that she understood what she has to do um, for her to get a grip, to get a control of her life, to, to really start over and... Um, have her children with her and have her baby that she's expecting right now from Asgari. Uh, Asgari is the daddy. <laughs> and I believe that she's really happy with him. And I hope they continue to be happy, both of them. And he's, he's helping her getting to shape. Uh, but now she's pregnant, so eat all you want, girl. <laughs> Then do the, the workouts after the pregnancy is over. After you give birth, you can uh, do all the workouts. And, you know, so. And we are listening, to, while we talk about Britney, we are listening to Britney songs from all the albums Just a few. Uh, we have a timing uh, here on the show. Um, when in live streaming, I can't go. I can't go overboard. You know, I have a timing. Um, but it is getting fun, and uh, I see you guys entering. But I will try to find more fun facts about this girl that entertained us for a few decades already.
also apparently Britney Spears uh, betrayed from all sides, you know, even the, her own bodyguards. Apparently, uh, you know, the people who are supposed to keep her safe from the paparazzi, yeah, they accepted bribes from the paparazzi so they could, do, they could get better pictures of her when she went out. And this naturally led her to get really hangry, angry, uh, as it would most of us all be angry with this situation. So you hire uh, a bodyguard to secure, to keep you protected, and they accept bribes from the paparazzi. So she had backlash from everywhere, betrayal from everywhere. Everyone wanted a piece of Britney Spears. Where, she, where the hell she felt safe in her life? Because this is quite worrying, you know? Uh, I feel so bad for her. Such a talented girl, such a beautiful woman, um, with these conservatorships and guardianships. And did you know Amanda Bynes is under that the same conservatorship and Joni Mitchell and like I said before and a lot of celebrities. I didn't know that. I, I only got to know got to know this conservatorship uh, from um, Britney Spears. Um, situation that was all over the media uh, recently. So she got freed of uh, that conservatorship in 2021, thank God for that. And she's always saying, when you wake up, pray. Whatever is your relationship with God or, or with, um, you know, just pray to whomever you believe, uh, to the entity that you believe. We all believe in different things, uh, I guess, but just pray, like she says. I think she's really getting into a good place, a really good place. I wasn't following her on Instagram. I started following her um, today and I, I, I started reading everything that I thought it was worth reading. And I thought, damn, this girl, she went through a lot and she got over it. She, she learned from it, from the mistakes. And she's growing up. Uh, in a way that most of us didn't have to grow up. On this matter that ended in 2021, the conservatorship from her dad, from the, from the first time ever, many of us are learning that even celebrities have to deal with conservatorships. I was really shocked uh, with many things that I've read is quite the entertainer and she really deserves our respect. Let's learn a few more things about her in a few seconds. Cue the music. So Britney Jean Spears was born on a Wednesday to uh, December, like December the 2nd of 18, 1981, sorry, my year. And she's younger than me, like a few months only. I'm from June, 
and she's from December the 2nd on a Wednesday. <laughs> so, um, December the 2nd, 1981, in Macaw, Mississippi. But she was brought up in Kentwood, Louisiana. Right. She was born to Line, Oline, Irene, James Parnell Spears. I've, I've heard that she has a brother, Brian James, that talked about her on a podcast, like in 2020. And I'm getting this from my memory because I read somewhere that. And, you know, I just, you know, I, I have to tell you this. People must know that on Google you can find any sort of news, fake or true, it depends on what you believe. But one thing's for sure, many people, including her family members, apparently are trying to take advantage of this girl. Okay, she's not naive at 100%, like she herself said in a post on Instagram. She's really, um, she, she, she's not that naive, okay? But, come on, it really looks like that many people are trying to get advantage of her or the fame or the money you know the benefits of surrounding her um this girl has like a special touch she achieved fame in a way that you know she used to admire and she admires Whitney Houston like I always admired She's one of my favorite singers ever and my uh, personal inspirations in life. Um, like Britney Spears, I used to um, get a, you know, the, the, you know, the thing that you use to comb your hair and, you know, and use it like a, a brush, you know, like a, a microphone. And I was just like, six years old or something um, I, I sang a lot uh, in my grandmother's house um, and she did it also she has a background really similar to mine uh, when it comes to the artists that she loves and admires and uh, I give her much respect for that because she admired the same people that I admire. Whitney Houston, Michael Jackson, my love, my king. <laughs> Michael and Whitney. One day I'll do um, a podcast about them, but quite frankly, I start sobbing. I start crying when I... St I think I, I can that I... On that day, I will do a, a podcast of um, about Michael or Whitney, but whenever I try, I, I start crying because I love them too, way too much, way too much. But one day, I will get my head around it and I will do it. Don't worry, but, you know, this girl has something that the others haven't or didn't have. And we must acknowledge that. Britney Spears right now, and I, I, of course I won't read uh, like the 100 facts about her life. You can Google on your phone about Britney. I just wanted you to know that this show is just a small tribute to this girl who went through a lot. And I really want it, not that the show is ending, because I told you about these live streamings, they have um, a very low, um, <laughs> like, 
live streaming expectant. <laughs> it um, ends really quick. But what I wanted to tell you is that I love Britney. I'm not the biggest fan of her songs, but I like uh, a few songs that she she did, she performed. And I like the entertaining part, you know? And she's an entertainer. She's really a nice woman, a nice girl to follow. And uh, give her a break talking to the media or the people that think they know all too, too much in the world. Stop, um, stop uh, throwing stones at these people. And when I speak about Britney, I speak about Will Smith. They are really talented people, even if you don't like or one's movies or one's songs. But Come on, there are people try to figure out why they they had that attitude in that moment. Try to understand both sides and only after that, realizing that, you can get an, an honest opinion about that. But a lot of people just... At the first second, they judge and they only judge for the worst, you know? So, yeah. Britney Jean Spears. If you ever listen to this podcast, please record another album go on with your life even if you don't want to record another album for your fans I urge you to keep going and have a, an amazing pregnancy I hope you are really happy in your life I'm rooting for your happiness I really think you are a nice girl who had a tough time with the wrong people um You know, just be happy. Thank you, you guys. This was the live streaming for today. Thank you to all of you that entered the show. Roger! Yay! Hi. Hi. <laughs> you changed your picture. Uh, yeah, it's been uh, before joining. <laughs> I like this picture. You are handsome. You look Thank you. handsome on the picture. <laughs> so, no. you, you didn't tell me earlier. How old are you, Ronti? I'm 25. Oh my god, you're so young. You know, 25. Uh, I think it was my favorite uh, age. Mm, oh yeah, it was. Uh, when I look back in time, I think 25 was uh, yeah. the age that I knew what I wanted. I knew um, who I was in, uh, you know, like... Uh, internally, yeah. you know, like uh, 25 is an interesting, uh, you know, age, but not for everyone. Uh, yeah, no, I f yes, I agree. Uh, uh, I right agree. now, I feel total of depression because of I could not have any job right now. I'm finding a job, so that is a thing yeah. that I was de I'm depressed right now, so this is a thing. Yeah, you want you you really want to get a nothing job. Is ha right? Nothing is happening with my life, so it's a simple, quite a slowly like a river, and goes slowly, slowly like. But but there is no. I, I must say, you know, I must say something to you. Don't, don't despair. The, it's one of the my favorite things on this show when I do a live chat. 
Um, I, I, I went through a, a lot of subjects, one of them being um, the, the most successful subject that I used on this show, uh, Art and Heart, was are you happy enough, are you strong enough to be alone, uh, to be happy alone? And I'm, I was, I'm happy, I was amazed with, um, with a lot of people that wanted to talk about that subject. It was really successful and I, I'm, I, I was considering you know, returning you know, with that subject again because of the what, success that I had. What their people nowadays, what the people are there showing, they are not alone, but the people they are who was not showing that they are, they are not alone they are alone because they are yeah. lots of time they are you know as a, in in online they are spending their time with facebook or instagram so they are alone they don't you have are, any work you are touching they are a subject um and, and it, it goes back to the the main subject for today that it was Brittany. she said she said a lot of times she was happy she was really in control and everything and she was really unhappy she was now now she's being honest on her instagram post and she's saying i was really unhappy i was suffering a lot and when i say britney spears i say a lot of young women young men that say oh i'm so happy i have a fantastic instagram life but in reality they yes, are so really, they are sad. Low. They are so yeah. un- unhappy, and the worst unhappiness is being no, surrounded. There is no by reason. So many there people. is. You know that happy- people that are sorry. You tell me first, and now I'll tell you after. Well, what, what I was going to say. No, I'm telling you the thing that those people they are showing that they are happy. They mm-hmm. are not happy. Because yes. of they, they don't have any reason behind their unhappiness. Most of the time they are, but they are not happy because of their life. They are they are too boring. They are so much uh, you know technologies or, and those sort of things are they are surrounding there. That therefore they don't <clears throat> they don't know how to people. feel the life. Or Ranti, uh, uh, Ranti is calling us from India. Um, I, I was saying something about that, and I think you'll agree with me. Um, there are people that, with money or without money, it doesn't matter. A person is a person. Uh, you know, a heart is a heart. And whether you have millions in your bank account or not, uh, you can live um, like we were saying earlier, a fake life. And if you are not living by the expectations that you had, and but you are living by the expectations of other people online or whatever, uh, by a society, that forces you to, oh, you are a young man, you have to have many children, you have to have a wife, you have to have a a certain kind of life. And when you, when you see that, oh yeah, I have the children, I have the wife, I have the millions, but I'm not happy. Why? And I tell you why. Because you don't have um, um, the genuine type of love surrounding you. The one that you dreamt for a lot of years of your life, throughout your mm. entire life. I'm not talking to you, I'm talking in general, you know, Ranti. Yeah. Uh, I'm saying you, but uh, the first person, uh, third you know, person. You understand uh, what I'm saying, thing. right? It doesn't yeah. matter, matter if you are rich or millionaire. If yeah, you are, yeah. you, if you don't have the right type of love surrounding most you, of the most of the thing is that when people become rich, they don't have any love. When they have love, they are not too much rich. 
too much reach to uh, you know spend with their love so it's quite you know the where is love there is no money and where is money there is no love you you uh, have yeah. to yeah. how do you ever uh, realize that the person really loves you and not your money or the fame that you bring to her life how no do i you, don't have right like... how do you how do you know how do you test that are you is there a test you can take that you see if your People wife or husband is India, uh, i don't know all the girls i don't know but the thing people are from uh, people not the girls are from india they are looking for a good job job good career good uh, not a good people they want they want a good money they have <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah and And this is a, a this a, is our so generation not the they are the the previous generation they don't want lots of money they want real love you don't have any money okay that's good but you have a love for me then that is a enough thing to spend whole life together so i uh, yeah and i agree and i i bobby welcome back and rashid and uh, Bronte is talking about um, a subject that is, it is a bit like uh, the life of Britney Spears and other people that are famous. Uh, Bobby, I want you to get in on the conversation because there are people that are listening, they don't want to participate, they are listening privately and let's respect that. So, Bobby, uh, Ronchi was saying uh, interesting things about um, some girls really want to study and really want to lead a life um, of, you know, study and uh, independent uh, girls. They want to be independent, not um, depend on the husband. Um, and there are other girls, other types of girls that only want oh, no, to. It's really you know, that uh, yeah. Same, People same want the money, independent. The oh, Instagram yeah. life, perfect life of Instagram and Netflix. Uh, no, that, yeah, there is a thing that people want that Instagram life, that followers too much. Yeah. Uh, you know. It's just so sad. I people I really are, hope. people people did most of the time those things for the uh, life you are comment. They don't have any li- they don't have other life, the real life. They don't spend real life. They spend their life in social media every time. People are right now. This is the yeah. biggest problem in our society. So, It is. And, uh, yeah, there is a big, also this is a main problem, uh, divorce also. On the Art and Heart podcast, I do live chats and I do recorded episodes, right? Yeah, and on yeah. On the radio, I sing. Oh, on the great. Radio, the yeah, I saw that, and on I the saw that. Video, yeah, Sorry. you saw that on the website, right? On the, uh, yeah. uh, the um, Vox Papilio, I read stories uh, from Disney, whatever, and I impersonate voices, you know, like the voice of the prince, the voice of Cinderella, the mice. Yeah. So uh, it was really nice talking to you. Linda, yeah, it's, I saw your it's awesome. Um, it's uh, really nice to talk with you. It's, uh, yeah. This was a live streaming, a short live streaming for Britney Spears. My name is Silvia Dos Santos. This is Art in Heart. I hope you liked it. This is not the ordinary episode about someone's life or interesting actor or singer. But I wanted to give this note to her. I love Britney the person. And I love a few of her songs, and um, I hope she carries on. I hope she's really happy and successful all her life, and that she is loved. And
mostly that she is loved by her husband, by her family. I hope she gets the love she deserves from the, her kids. And enough is enough. She went through a lot already. Give her a break to this girl. Give her a break. And, um, yeah. <laughs> It was a pleasure talking to you about Britney Jean Spears. Bye-bye. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs>